Hello, hello, and welcome to Sculpt once again. I'm Anna, this is Santana, we're happy to be here. 60 minutes of Sculpt. We are going to use weights again, um, so if you have weights, awesome, grab some light, I would say like one, two, three pound. Um, if you don't have weights, grab something that resembles weights, maybe like a soup can or something like that. If not, it's not really a big deal. Um, you can do everything without weights. So let's go ahead and get started. We will lie on our mats. We'll just lie on our backs in a comfortable position. Um, I'll suggest a low back release if you're interested, bringing your feet wide about the width of your mat, allowing your knees to come together. If you want to start with legs long or um, with a prop of some sort, you're welcome to do that as well. So listen to your body, um, upper body, perhaps a hand on heart, a hand on belly, maybe arms wide to open your chest. And just close your eyes. If you need to pick up your shoulders and reset them, please do make sure your hips feel grounded, your head feels heavy, and your belly is soft. Just melting into your mat, feeling the places of compression down into your mat, the places where you're connecting with it, like your hips, your shoulders, the back of your head, maybe the back of your arms and the bottom of your feet. Take a moment to scan and notice the places that are not connecting with your mat, like maybe your low back, the backs of your legs, depending where you are, the back of your neck. And then start to notice the space around you. Feel the temperature of the air in the room. Notice any humidity, any movement of air. And then start to notice other senses as well, perhaps smells, good or bad or subtle or strong the taste in your mouth, if any, and sounds as well. There's probably going to be random sounds, especially if you live with other people. That's OK. Acknowledge them. Notice the sound of my voice. Maybe you have music in the background. Notice that. Tune into that for a second. And then come back inward and notice that feeling of your breath. If your lips are shut, notice the air coming in through your nostrils, down your throat, filling up your chest, your rib cage, and your belly. And then as you exhale, feeling that belly lower rib cage lower, chest lower, air coming out through your nostrils. Just pay attention to that rhythm of your breath, the in and the out. And maybe that slight pause at the end of your breath. Let's use this breath throughout Sculpt. Let it tell you what you need. Let it tell you to take breaks. Let it tell you to do more. It's pretty good at that. Good. Let's start to open our eyes, maybe rock your head side to side and add little movement. So I'm going to wiggle my fingers, start to lengthen through my legs, wiggle toes, roll wrists and ankles, perhaps a big full body stretch. <sighs> And then it might feel nice to pull knees into chest for a second. So squeeze your knees in and press down into your low back. Feel that compression, maybe a little rock side to side. And then we'll go into a butterfly. So when you're ready, bring bottoms of feet to touch. Let your knees fall open and just find that supta baddha konasana, that reclined butterfly position. Settle into that for a second. Feel the opening of your hips. 
gravity pulling your knees down. And then this is sculpt, so we're gonna add some strengthening, right? So reach up overhead, clasp all 10 fingers, and then let your pointer fingers extend from that point. I want you to reach your fingers up to the ceiling. Lift your head and shoulders off the mat and reach like you're pointing out in front of you towards your toes. Now start to pulse. Chest kind of rounds over your rib cage. Chin off of chest, so maybe look towards the ceiling slightly and try to remember to breathe as naturally as you can. Find however fast or slow you'd like these pulses to be your rhythm. Again, don't hold your breath. Let's go ahead and start to go over to the right side. So just aim yourself to the right a couple inches and continue those pulses. Nice and steady here. Doesn't have to be a huge movement, just a couple of inches. Let's continue on this side for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to center and we'll go over to the left side. Not much more to go here. See if you can unclench your jaw, unfurl your eyebrow, relax through your neck chin off of chest and we'll do five four three two one come back to center for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one go ahead and release if you'd like for a moment you can pull knees into chest and give yourself a squeeze Give you a breath before we move on. Nice and warmed up through that core. Let's warm up our glutes and our hamstrings. So come back to butterfly. I want you to keep your feet and your legs in butterfly. Just slightly lift your knees, maybe a little higher than you usually would. Like you're using the strength of your legs to lift your knees. Bring your arms down your sides. Press into the sides of your feet and lift your hips off the mat. So we're in like a butterfly bridge pose. It's feeling your hamstrings and your glutes engage as you're lifted. Press down into shoulders and we'll pulse up through our hips. Little pulses up, doesn't have to be a huge movement. And breathe, gaze might be up at the ceiling, maybe you close your eyes, doesn't matter to me. Feel those glutes and hamstrings engage with every single pulse up. Engage through your core for extra stability and to protect your low back. Maybe a little bit higher if that feels okay. Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, holding up on one, squeeze those glutes, the backs of your legs, hold for five, four, squeeze for three, two, one, and gently lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Knees fall open, relax into that butterfly. Come back to your breath. We're gonna do one more round of those pulse crunches that we started with. So clasp hands, pointer fingers extend, reach up to the ceiling. Lift head and shoulders, reach towards the front of the room, towards your feet, and begin to pulse. If you'd like a little bit more, we're not going to be here as long. Go ahead and hover your feet off of the mat and breathe. Don't hold that breath. Let's go to the right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One center and to the left for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Finishing in center for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and release. Maybe knees come into chest. You can give yourself a hug. 
Nice work, everybody. Always modifying to what you need. If you want less, if you need more, please take it. We're gonna find one more bridge. So plant your feet on the mat in front of you just like a normal bridge this time. Feet about hip width apart, nice and close to your hips. Arms down your sides, go ahead and press into your feet and when you're ready, lift your hips off of the mat. Squeezing that back side, chin off of chest, relaxing through your face, just pausing here for a second, noticing where you're engaging, maybe drawing your knees a little bit closer together, noticing if that changes anything. Good. We'll add a little bit more. I want you to bring weight to left foot. Go ahead and extend your right leg high up into the air. Activate through your core. Lower your right leg so your thighs are parallel to one another. Lower your right leg a little bit beyond that. Bring thighs back parallel. Send your right leg high into the air and then set your right foot next to your left foot. Ground into your right foot, send your left leg into the air. Lower so thighs are parallel. Lower a little beyond, parallel, and then up high. Set your left foot down on the mat, lift your hips another two inches or so. One more time, each side, right leg lifts. Parallel, lower a little bit more, bring it back parallel, and then reach it up high. Right foot comes down, last side, left leg lifts, parallel thighs, lower a little beyond, bring it back parallel, up to the ceiling. Left foot meets right. Lift your hips again, those two more inches, and breathe here. In, out, in, out. Stay for the in. Slowly lower one vertebrae at a time on the out. Once you get down, let your knees sway side to side. And when you're ready, pull your knees into your chest, grab under them. Let's rock and roll on the length of our spine. Nice and big, careful of your neck. I want you to meet me in a boat pose when you're ready. So find that balancing point. Breathe. Long through spine, as you see, I have a pretty flat back here. I don't want you to hunch like this. So lengthen through your spine. Think about a proud chest, chin off of chest. Arms can reach off to your sides. Legs can lengthen if you choose. We're just gonna add a twist here. So left hand can grab somewhere on your right leg. Right arm reaches long behind you. So hips are still forward, twisting through belly button, opening through chest. Perhaps look back. One more breath in and out. Come back to center. Reset if you need to, get nice and tall. We'll go to the other side, so right hand grabs to left. Left arm reaches long behind you. I'm still long through my spine. I'm not hunching. Gaze might go all the way to the back of the room. One more breath in and out. Come back to center, two more breaths in out in and out go ahead and cross your ankles we'll make our way to tabletop take a couple moments in your tabletop go into cat cows maybe sink back into your heels shift forward about 30 seconds here swing your hips side to side Notice how your body's feeling this afternoon. Do you have a lot of energy? Are you sore? Do you feel tight? 
just being an observer, trying to take away any judgment that might arise. One more full round of breath on your own. Going to do a little bit more glute activation, so I want you to meet me back in your table talk, t- tabletop, excuse me, with your joints stacked, with that core engaged. Send your right leg long behind you. Good foot is flexed right away. Hips are leveled off long through that leg. Go ahead and bend your knee about 90 degrees. Good, so foot is still flexed. Breathe here, let's start with just little ups. Yeah, just little ups. Let's just activate that glute. So squeeze your butt cheek every time you go up for five. Four, make sure your low back isn't sagging. Three, two, one. Keep the shape of your leg. I want you to just bring it down to meet your right and open it up to the right side like you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Little ups here. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. We'll just combine those movements. So close and lift and down and open to the side. So close it in, lift it up with that glute, lower it down and open to the side. So close, lift, squeeze your butt cheek, lower and open it to the side just like that. Continue at your own pace. Keep that flex of your foot. Every movement we make, we're feeling that glute engage. That glute is the powerhouse here. As you're moving through, I want you to remember not to collapse into your shoulders because I know those shoulders are not your priority. You're gonna forget about them. So puff up that space between your shoulder blades. Let's do two more rounds. Finishing strong. The next time you're lifting behind you with that heel, go ahead and stay. Pulsing last round. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, I want you to cross your right knee behind your left knee. Good, and then just go ahead and sit down. Right between your feet here, we're sitting. If this is too much right away, sit on something. So grab a block or a pillow or whatever you might have around. This is called shoelace pose. I'm feeling it in both of my hips right now. You can stay upright. If you want to feel a little bit more, you can gently hinge forward. If you're hinging forward, try to keep both your sit bones grounded. If you notice your butt cheeks are lifting, come back upright. And just breathe three more rounds of breath. And as you're finished with that final breath, I want you to press yourself back up and come back to your tabletop position. Take a moment to shake it off, sway your hips. Reset your stance here. I want shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, belly engages, shoulders are puffed. We're gonna send our left leg long behind us. Level off your hips before you do anything. Flex your foot right away. Bend your knee about 90 degrees. I'm activating through my left glute. Little ups with my heel for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Don't collapse into your low back. Keep that belly engaged. Three, two, And one, we're gonna keep the shape of our leg, just lower it 
and now open it to the side again like that fire hydrant. Little ups here, doesn't have to be as high. Find what you need for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Combining that movement, go ahead and close. Lift, squeeze butt cheek, lower, open, close, lift and squeeze, and lower. So we're opening and closing, squeezing butt as we lift, lowering it back down. My knee is hovering the whole time, so make sure you're not setting it down. Keep that foot nice and flex. Try to keep that 90 degree bend. Doesn't have to be perfect, but work for it. How are your shoulders? How is your core? Double check those things. And then come back to that breath. You've got it. Just a couple more. Nice and slow. Find a pace that works for you. Let's do the last two rounds here. The next time you're lifting that leg behind you, go ahead and stay. Squeeze that butt cheek, flex your foot, pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, cross your left leg behind your right, and then gently sit down between your feet. Trying to stack knees, it's okay if it's not perfect. Sit upright. You can sit on something if you need to. Breathe. Notice where you're feeling this. Relax through your muscles. If you want that extra, hinge forward. So we've activated our glutes, we've got into our hamstrings, we're gonna get just a little bit into our quads here next. So take one more breath where you are. And then go ahead and press back up to your knees. Come back forward to your tabletop. I'll give you another second to shake it off. And then I want you to go ahead and bring your knees right underneath your hips. Shins parallel. Rise up to stand on your knees. If you need cushion under your knees, set that up for yourself now. Nice and upright here, core is engaged. I'm gonna outstretch my arms in front of me. We're activating our quads, so we're just gonna hinge from our hips and sit back into our heels, but not all the way back. And then rise back up. So we'll do full range here. So sit back into your heels and rise back up. Notice how as I'm going back, I'm not hinging forward here. So make sure shoulders are over hips and we're just hinging back and forward. Just sitting back and rising back up. Sitting back and rising back up. You can go slower, but I don't necessarily want you to go faster. I want this nice and controlled. Breathe, let your shoulders come down away from your ears. Relax your face and don't forget about your core. Good, this next time, go ahead and pause as you're low. Do little pulses for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to full range, we'll do one more little set. Nice and controlled, the slower the better. Try not to hinge forward, I know it's difficult. We're gonna finish with the last three. A 
last one this time as you come down we're gonna hold come to your low point hold for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one rise up Whew. you can shake it off nice job guys curl your toes sit back into your heels for a broken toe stretch out your feet reach back and get your little pinky toes under sometimes they don't want to go okay and then we'll add wrist stretches because i want us to stretch those wrists before we bear weight so bring your hands to the mat keep pressing back so you feel the stretch in your feet but hands to the mat turn your hands outward Yep, so wrists are pointing towards one another. Either stay right here if you want a little bit more. Keep turning them all the way to face you. So your wrists are facing out. And I'm putting gentle pressure. I'm really not putting that much pressure. This shouldn't hurt. It should feel intense, but it shouldn't hurt. So back off if it does. And slow down that breath from all that hard work. Final breath here. And go ahead and turn your hands back forward, back to where we started. One at a time, one more wrist stretch. Choose a hand, it doesn't matter which one. I just want you to flip it the other way so you're putting pressure on the back of your hand. Your palm is facing up to the ceiling. Fingers pointing towards you. Really gentle here. I don't want you to hurt yourself. And then we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. So do the other one. Palm up to the ceiling. Gentle pressure on the back of your hand. Fingers point towards you. And breathe. go ahead and release also release your toes so come to flat feet I want you to sit back into your flat feet bring your hands behind you and gently lift your knees so you're stretching out your ankles maybe open up your chest let your head fall back and then we'll go ahead and pull back forward to our tabletop I want you to set up your hands here so shoulders are right over wrists spread your fingers nice and wide here activate through your hands we're gonna go ahead and step our feet back so that we're in a high plank pose so setting up for our first high plank pose my shoulders are over my wrists my hips are in line with my shoulders. I'm pressing back through my heels and forward through the crown of my head at the same time. I'm not letting my low back sag and I'm not um, collapsing into my shoulders. So if you notice you're doing something funky, come down to your knees. Find yourself stable right there instead. So breathe. We're about, we're a little over halfway through this hold. We're just going to do a 60 second hold. <sighs> about 15 more seconds to go. So continue to puff up those shoulders. Find your strength here. 10 seconds. Let's do five, four, three, two. Shift forward on your tippy toes, lower all the way to your belly. Uncurl your toes, press tops of feet down so your kneecaps are lifted. As you inhale, squeal, squeeze your backside, baby cobra lift through your chest. And exhale, lower back down. Again, squeeze backside, baby cobra, toes are down. And exhale, release. One more time, inhale, engage for cobra. Maybe hover your hands, come up another half inch for three, two, one, and release. Catch your breath. Pull your elbows in tight. 
plant through your hands, curl your toes, suck that belly button in, press up to plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Saddle into your first down dog, pedal your feet. Shake your head yes and no. Sway your hips side to side, whatever feels good for you here. I don't want this pose to be too strenuous. I want it to feel somewhat easy. So use your core to lift your hips. Bend your knees if you have tight hamstrings. Spread your fingers wide. Don't dump the weight into your wrists or that's gonna hurt. Start to find stillness. I want us to breathe together. Take an inhale. Let it go. Breathe in and out. Once more in and out. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look to your hands and step or jump to the top of your mat. Find your Uttanasana forward fold, relax your head. Bend your knees, feel a release in your low back. Maybe grab opposite elbows for ragdoll. About 10 more seconds here. Nice long spine. If you have a grip, I want you to release that grip. As you inhale, bring your hands to shins or knees, halfway lift, long spine, booty pressing back, crown of head reaching forward. One more breath in, forward fold, heavy head breath out. Again, inhale, halfway lift, get long, engage your core, hold. I'd like you to bring your hands to heart center. Bend your knees as much as you need to here. We're gonna extend our arms long out in front of us so we're in a big L shape. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, rise up to standing. Right hand grabs left wrist. Pull it up and over to the right side. Maybe close your eyes. One more breath out. Come back to center. Switch to the other side. Left hand pulls, right arm up and over. Make sure you're not hunching forward. Roll that right shoulder slightly back. Engage your core. One more breath out. Inhale, center, goal post your arms, exhale, squeeze shoulders back, bend. <sighs> Inhale, reach up, exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Plant your hands on the mat and step back to high plank as you breathe out. <sighs> Shift forward on tippy toes. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Finding a moving meditation, getting that body warmed up. Inhale, lift heels. Bend knees, exhale, jump or step. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise with the in, fold on the out. Lengthen halfway lift, plant your hands, step back, plank, breathe out. Shift on the in, chaturanga out. Cobra or up dog in, down dog out. Prepare with the in and travel with the out. Lengthen, breathe in. Fold, let it go. Rise up, fill up. Bow, let it go. Lengthen, plant your hands. You can do what we've been doing or bend your elbows, jump to chaturanga. Back bend. And down dog. Once more, prepare. 
and travel. Lengthen, bow, rise, let it go, prepare, plant your hands and do your thing. You can always add extra chaturangas, whatever you need. Meeting me back in down dog, one more breath in, big out. This time look at your hands, step your feet to the outsides of your hands. Find your malasana low yogi squat. Lengthening through your spine, you see I'm not hunching forward. I'm long here, engaging through my belly. Breathing, slowing down for a second. We'll turn towards you for this next thing. We'll add a little bit of movement here, so stay with this breath in and the out. With the inhale, go ahead and rise all the way up. Exhale, slow down. Inhale, we rise. And exhale down. Couple more, big in. And all the way out. Two more. Last one up. This time lowering for five, four, three. Pause in that squat. Big jump up and lower. Five, four, three, two. Jump up. Five, four, three, two. Jump up. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> jump. Five, four, three, two, jump, three more down, two, three, jump, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, one more, one, five, four, three, and jump, mountain pose, take a moment, catch your breath, nice work everybody, <sighs> a little bit of cardio in there, so, We'll go into some strengthening. Option for weights for this next thing. So I'm gonna grab one pounders. I would say probably a pretty low set of weights. We're gonna do a little bit into our shoulders. So step to the top of your mat. Two rounds of breath and we'll go into it. One more. So let's keep right leg as base. Just step your left foot all the way back into a lunge. So widen your stance, pop that heel, sink into your front knee. I want you to make sure your knee isn't going past your ankle. It's just right above your ankle. If you need to modify, you can be down the whole time. Otherwise, I want you to be up if you don't need it. I want you to challenge yourself. We're gonna add upper body and lower body. So go ahead and bend that left knee so it's about to touch. Rise up as your arms come to shoulder height. So lower as we lower knee. Rise up. Down. And up. Nice and steady and slow here. Don't death grip your weights. Keep that heel popped. Be aware of your stance. Notice how I'm not hinging forward here. My core is engaged and breathing. We've got it. Let it burn. Add your breath if you're not already. Inhale on the rise. Exhale on the lower. We have three more. Make them good. Last one. Rise up. Lower and hold right here for three, two, 
One, drop that left knee down to the mat, uncurl toes. Let your hips melt forward here. Breathe for a second, feel that nice stretch. Just a little bit more upper body while we're here. Extend arms forward, palms up, bend elbows, extend, bend, and extend. You can walk them one at a time, or you can do both at the same time. My upper arm staying parallel with the mat. Breathe. If you have heavier weights and you want to go for it, you can. Twice more each arm. Four more rounds if you're doing both at the same time. And once you've finished, set your weights to the side. Hands can come to the mat. I want you to just stretch it out. Focus on that stretch and breathe. Two more big rounds of breath here. Good. Plant your left hand on the mat. Let's find a twist, reach your right arm high. And we're gonna go ahead and turn this into a side plank. So I'm gonna swing my left leg behind me, step my right leg out. You can do this variation. You can plant your foot and let both of your feet come to the mat. We're here for 30 seconds. Make sure shoulder directly over wrist, crunch through that left oblique. Don't hold your breath, feel strong. We're halfway, not much more to go, you've got it. Last 10 seconds, lift up a little bit higher, open through your chest, we've got five, four, three, two, one, high plank. Shift, breathe in, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, lift heels. Exhale, step or jump. <sighs> Lengthen. Forward fold. Go ahead and grab your weights while you're down here. Slide your feet all the way to touch. Rise up to stand. My hair's all tangled, okay. So big toes to touch. Little bit of a balance, so bear with me. We're gonna do drinking bird and add some upper body. So I want you to squeeze your inner thighs, sink into your chair, breathe, engage through your belly, find something to look at, find your drishti, your gaze, and then pop your heels when you're ready. Doesn't have to be huge, find your balance, okay? Now with your weights, one weight in each hand, right? We're gonna bring them behind us slightly, palms face up to the ceiling, and we're gonna add little ups. So we're activating those triceps here. So the higher you're up and the closer your weights are together, you're gonna feel more. Hinge slightly forward, engage through that core, pop those heels. You've got it, if you fall, come back. If you need to lower your heels, that's fine. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. Lift another inch, squeeze another inch for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go ahead and reset. Step to the top of your mat if you weren't already there. Your left foot is base. Whoop, don't drop your weights. You still have your weights. Right foot is gonna step all the way back. Nice long stance here, my heel is high. Right now my back leg is straight. Left knee's working for 90 degrees. You find what works for you. Back knee can come down right now if you need it to, otherwise 
try, okay? We're gonna lower and rise. Exhale and inhale. Exhale, inhale, and down and up. Down and up. Nice and slow and controlled here. Trembling is a good thing. Find a pace that works for you. Use your breath. We've got to keep it up. Three more. Last two. Last one. We're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Drop that knee. Hinge forward slightly for a second. Feel that big stretch. Whew. We're gonna add the same upper body we did last time. If you need to skip it, you can. Let's maybe see if you can try. You can always go to a lower weight. So weights extend, palms flip up, and we bend and extend. Bend and extend, just like that. Feel free to walk one at a time. If you choose and just be really aware that you're not dropping, you're nice and parallel to the mat. Core is still engaged for stability. Almost done guys, you're rocking it. Four more or two more on each arm. Last one. And go ahead and set those weights down. Hands come to the mat, hinge deeper. Breathe. Two more. Last little push here is gonna be that side plank, okay? So plant your hand, your right hand. Reach your left arm, just twist. Then find your version of side plank. So I'm gonna swing my right leg behind me a little bit. Step my left foot. Stay here or here or like this. Okay, let me check the time. All right, we've got it. And breathe. Let's see about crunching that right oblique, opening through your chest, you're halfway. <sighs> Reach up with that top left hand. Maybe lift that top leg if you haven't for five, four, three, two, one plant, left hand, high plank, final flow, shift, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog, breathe in, breathe out, drop down to your knees, sit off to the side, go ahead and sit all the way on your butt, let your legs, Scoot all the way to the top of your mat. We'll find a seated forward fold. So sit it upright, inhale, reach high. Exhale, hinge and bow. Bend your knees if you need to. Two more 
rounds of breath. And then go ahead and rise back to your seat. Extend your arms, close your eyes. Tilt your face up to the ceiling and we'll lower back together for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big full body stretch. When you're ready, pull knees into chest. Give them a hug. Relax. Little bit of stretching, and then we'll be finished. So plant feet. Left foot stays. I want you to um, cross your right ankle over your left knee for a reclined pigeon pose. You can stay just like this. Make sure to flex your right foot if you want more sensation. Lift your left foot, maybe grab um, near your hamstring or somewhere on your shin. Just try not to grab your knee directly and gently pull it in towards you. Feeling sensation in that right hip, not in your right knee. Another little tiny variation if you'd like is to lengthen through your left leg and add a little bit of left hamstring stretch. Maybe reaching for your toes, but don't force it if it doesn't want to go. Close your eyes, relax your shoulders, relax your head. Just breathe. We'll go into a little twist variation following this. So I want you to release a grip. If you have one, let your left foot come back down to the mat. Bring your arms to a T. I want you to keep your legs exactly how they are. Just let the shape of your legs fall over to the left. So you're gonna let the outside of your left thigh come to the mat. The bottom of your right foot might come to the mat. And then if you want a little bit more, think about letting your right knee fall away from you. And maybe you add a stretch all the way into your cervical spine by letting your head fall to the right. Belly is relaxed, face is soft. One more full round of breath. Bring your head back to center and then slowly bring your legs back to center. Bring your feet wide to your mat. Let your knees sway side to side. And then we'll move to the final side. So again, feet about hip width like you're setting up for bridge. Left ankle over right knee, flex your left foot. Notice how this feels. If you want a little bit more, go ahead and lift your right leg off of the mat, perhaps grabbing your hamstring or your shin. Just try not to directly grab your knee. Feeling that sensation in the outside of your left hip, not your knee. Back off if it's on your knee. And then maybe staying right here, adding that extra little bit of hamstring. Maybe reaching up and peace gripping your big toe. But making sure shoulders are still grounded, head is still down.
feeling your heart rate slow down as you're lying here. Perhaps bringing in some positive thoughts about your strength. Perhaps a little gratitude towards yourself. That wasn't an easy class, so thank yourself for being here, for trying, for attempting, for achieving, for sweating. Good, we'll go ahead and release. Let right foot come back down to the mat. Finding that final little twist variation, arms wide. Let the shape of your legs fall to the right. So outside of right leg, bottom of left foot comes towards the mat. It's okay if it doesn't physically touch. And then I'm gonna let my left knee just fall away from me slightly. Because then I'll feel more sensation. Maybe head falls to the left. Maybe not. Final breath. And then bringing head back to center. Bringing legs back to center. Uncrossing them if you'd like that sway one more time. Feet wide, knees sway. And then lastly, we'll pull those knees into our chest one more time. I'm going to wrap my arms around my shins, maybe grab for opposite elbows, lift head and shoulders, pull myself into a tiny ball, take a breath in, squeeze. And then exhale as you release into your final Shavasana. So you're welcome to bring your legs wide, arms wide, Reset your shoulders if you need to. Feet fall open. Belly is soft. You are right where you need to be. Shavasana. Yogis, thank you so much for joining us for another Sculpt class. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you soon. The light and the love that's inside of me sees and honors the light and the love that's inside of each of you. Namaste.